Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to be fixing the best faith and dexterity build by Ashen One. So first up we have our main weapon, the God Slayer's Greatsword plus 10, and we'll be having a lot of fun with its unique skill, the Queen's Black Flame. In our offhand we have the God Slayer's Seal, plus 25. In our armor slots we have the Raging Wolf Head and Chest Piece, and then Blythe's Gauntlets and Greaves. This puts us at 51 poise for PvE, the Salismans. We have the Shard of Alexander boosting our Queen's Black Flame skill by 15%, we have the Flox Canvas Talisman boosting our incantations by 8%, we have the Dragon Crest Great Shield Talisman, boosting our physical defense and PDE by 20%, and we have the Fire Scorpion Charm, boosting our fire damage by 12%. In the Flask of Wondrous Physic then, I am simply using the Flame Shrouding Crack tier to boost our fire damage, and then I'll use defensive tiers like the Opaline Hard tier. We have Vigor at 60, Mind at 35, Endurance at 27, Strength at 34, Dexterity at 57, Intelligence at 9, Faith at 50 and Arcane at 7. So his build isn't actually that bad and it's nice to see his builds continuously improve from when I first started correcting him. The first major thing is that his stats are very spread out. Having 35 mind isn't really useful in any way, especially when you can be reaching the dexterity soft cap as well as having arbitrary points in strength and faith. 50 faith is the soft cap, but for God Slayer's Greatsword it scales so poorly with faith you're better off investing more into dexterity or more into strength. As you'll see in my build, my faith is basically what my strength is. His talisman setup is pretty good. I don't necessarily like the Dragon Crush Great Shield Fire Scorpion Charm combo, as you'll see in my build, I have the Ritual Sword and Ritual Shield Talisman. That way, when I'm at max HP, I'm getting basically the same damage while having higher damage negation. Plus, I don't have the damage negation penalty from the Fire Scorpion Charm. Using the God Slayer Seal here is a questionable choice because despite using the God Slayer Incantations and thus getting the 10% damage bonus from it, you are still better off using the Clawmark Seal or the Frenzied Flame Seal for the highest spell buff and damage. Frenzied Flame being the highest. So for my improved build, we have 60 Vigor because that is the Vigor soft cap. We have 18 Mind because Mind is just a dump stat, it's not really that important to this build. We have 20 Endurance to get 51 Poise without fat rolling. We have 46 Strength which is an arbitrary Strength number, however, it does provide us the, the most optimal damage for our stat spread. We have 80 Dexterity, which is the final Dexterity soft cap. Then we have 41 Strength, which is also an arbitrary stopping point. However, again, like with Strength, it does provide us the most damage. For the weapons, I have the God Slayer's Greatsword, of course, because that is what this build is based around. And then I have the Frenzied Flame Seal, because that gives us the highest spell buff. Very surprisingly, actually. I did not expect this. For the talismans, I have the Shard of Alexander, the Flox Canvas Talisman, the Ritual Sword Talisman, and the Ritual Shield Talisman. For the armor, I have the Omen Smirk Mask, the Fingerprint Armor Altered, the Gold Bracelets, and the Crucible Greaves to give me 51 poise. And for the spell slots, I have Black Flame, Scouring Black Flame, Flame Grant Me Strength, and Golden Vow. For the Crystal Tears, I have Opaline Hard Tier, boosting our damage negation, and the Flame Shrouding Crack Tier, boosting our fire damage. 